Hello ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to this video, a very warm welcome to another video of mine. Well today I'm gonna talk about the S&P 500. I'm gonna tell you all how the S&P could behave in the next week. That is from the 3rd of June 2024 until 7th of June 2024. Well, first let me tell you all that please, please do not take a trade based on my videos, based on my predictions, based on my range of the S&P 500. Never do that. Never in your life. And the other thing which you need to remember while watching my videos is that that I use only astrology and numerology to calculate the range of the S&P 500, to predict about S&P 500. I don't use any other tool to predict about the S&P 500. So you need to remember this while watching my videos. Now let me start predicting about the S&P 500 for the next week. Well, my prediction regarding the S&P 500 for the next week is that that the S&P could trade from flat to positive in the next week. Yes, I am bullish on the S&P 500 next week. Well, y'all must have seen that in spite of the S&P falling on the 31st of May 2024, it recovered smartly. And my prediction regarding the S&P is that, that the next week, that S&P could be positive in the next week, could be bullish in the next week. But that doesn't mean that the S&P 500 cannot go below this level of 5277, where it closed on the 31st of May 2024. Yes, it can go below that level of 5277 where it closed on the 31st of May 2024. But it would stage a smart recovery and would close above that level of 5277, 5277, where it closed on the 31st of May 2024. However, I want to give you all a range of the S&P 500 just now. My range of the S&P 500 for the next week would be that the S&P 500 could trade between levels of 5217 and 5326. And when the markets close next Friday, that is the 7th of June 2024, you could see the S&P 500 trading above a level of 5298. 5,298. Ladies and gentlemen, here is something else for y'all. I want to tell y'all that if the S&P 500 starts to trade below a level of 5211, 5,211 for 90 minutes or more than 90 minutes, one and a half hours or more than one and a half hours, then you can assume that the S&P 500 has turned bearish and it could lose another 25 to 30 points from that level of 5211. But if it starts to trade above a level of 5335, 5335 for 90 minutes or more than 90 minutes, one and a half hours or more than one and a half hours, then you can easily assume that the S&P 500 has turned bullish and it could gain another 25 to 30 points from that level of 5335. Well, this is all I wanted to tell y'all about the S&P 500 for the next week. And here I want to end my video. Jai Mata Di, Jai Ma Kali. <laughs>